Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about importing the employees using the import employee data functionality. In order to import the employees using the import employee data tool, you need to go to search for actions or people and search for import employee data. Here we have two options. One is import data and the other is the download template. In the employee central, when importing data, the sequence of import is very, very important. If we do not import all the essential files in the right order, we can end up with difficulties when we are trying to import the subsequent data files. There can also be issues within the application itself at further steps. There are multiple entities that needs to be imported and under select an entity, you can see all the entities that are allowed to be imported using the import employee data functionality. But in order to have only the bare minimum imports so that we can begin our testing, we should be performing at least five to six imports in the right sequence. We will see and import one employee in this particular video in the same position that we created in our previous video. So let's get started. The very first import that we need to perform is the basic import. So in order to perform a basic import, I will first download the template for the basic import. And then I will prepare this template with the data that I have to import. I will click on generate template. And I will see that my template is downloaded. On clicking the template, I have these fields which needs to be filled. Now, in order to fill these fields, to make my process easy, I can download the position that I have just created. In order to download the position, I will go to import and export data. And under select the action to perform, click on export data. The generic object has to be position. And it says, do I want to include dependencies? No, I just want the data which is assigned or used in the creation of only one specific permissions. Do I want inactive records? No. Do I want to select all the data records? No, I just want to select one record, which is the position under which I want to hire my employee. So if you observe here, when I say select all data records as yes, I do not get the option of selecting the object. And once I say select all data records as no, I have the option of which object do I want to select. I can select the position that I want to export, click on the position and click on export. I'll then go to monitor jobs. And see that my export is in progress. I will refresh and the job status is completed. And we can then download the position from the monitor jobs by clicking on the download status under the download status. When you open the file, it appears as this. So this is the position that I wanted to download and it has all these fields which are assigned in the position object. Now I can use this file to create my basic import file by providing all the values that are present in the fields which are similar to the position and in the basic import. In the basic user import file, I have provided a user ID, a username, first name, last name. And then in the department, I will provide the same department which is present in the position in which I want to hire my employee. So here I'll give the department, then division, all from the position file, location. As of now, I do not want to provide any manager for the employee that I'm hiring. 
so i will provide no manager in the field manager which means that this employee has no manager hire date the hire date of the employee would be 1st 1st 2018 employee id all these information is not mandatory in the company field i will provide the company business unit all from the position object subdivision in order to map with the values in the basic import has the right format for the fields that i have provided here i can export the employee details from the employee export here we have the option for exporting the user file it says this is a one-time download link and will expire in 24 hours you have to export again if the link already expired a new request was submitted for the user export and once you click on refresh you get the option of downloading that export if the export is in progress you can see the percentage of the export click on the download once the user data file is successfully downloaded we can see that the fields and the sequence of the fields in the user directory is similar to the fields and the sequence of fields in the basic user input file like status user id username first name and in the user directory as well status user id username first name preferred name middle name last name we have preferred name middle name and last name so the user directory that we have exported from the employee export can be relied upon in order to create our basic import or the basic user info file you can also copy the users from the user directory and paste it in the basic user info and then edit that data according to your needs and then import that file the only thing that we have to take care of is the department the division the location and other foundation objects should be the ones which are present in the position in which you want to hire this particular employee through the import process once the basic user file is created we can then go to the import employee data tool and click on import data under select an entity we can select ba basic import in choose file we can choose the file that we have created file encoding can be left as utf8 file locale would be the default local language that is specific for your system in my case it is uk english so i will leave it as is and then i can first i can validate import file data this will provide with any errors that are there in the file that i want to import if there are no errors i can then click on import to import the employee so if i click on the basic import employee data i can see that the import file has the following errors it says this is an invalid hr id i can then go to my basic user file so this means that under the hr in column m i should provide no hr so this means that this employee does not have any hr i have now saved this file i will try to import again validate import file data i see that the validation is successful i can now click on import in order to import this file it says your file has been uploaded to the server successfully and it will be examined for the proper text file format an email notification will be generated once your file has been processed indicating the final status of your request the import validation process can take up to an hour depending on the size of the uploaded file if you do not receive an email notification regarding your process please contact our technical support now i can search for the employee number that i hired the employee in so i can see that my basic employee is already created so 
if you see here it says the db department division and the db location that i created as my division department and the location and once the basic import is done the person id in the biographical information is filled in so since the employment details are not imported yet the hire date is marked as 1st of january 1900 so whenever you see that the employment details has a higher date of 1st of january 1900 this means that the employment details does not exist for the employee and another general information section i can see that the username a employee which i had given in the imported file and the employee id along with the recruit date these fields are all filled if you notice here the personal information is not created so when we do a basic import it's mostly the employee profile that gets created the general information that i see here this particular section the user info are the details of the employee profile which are then filled with the details that i have imported in my basic import file the second step or the second file that we should be importing at the time of employee hire is the biographical information in order to import the biographical information i will go to the import employee data and under download template i will download the template for the biographical information here if you see it says selected data fields it says date of birth in the user id these two are the mandatory fields these two fields should be imported and the date of birth is selected by default I can also remove the date of birth and once deleted, I at least will have to provide the user ID at the time of importing the biographical information. Here I have the option to select these five fields as a part of my biographical information import. I can select the person ID, the country of birth and the date of birth and leave the others for now. I can then generate the template and my template will be consisting of all these four fields which are under the selected data fields user id person id country of birth and date of birth i will have to provide these four fields fill the template and then import it i will click on generate template my template is now generated the biographical information template is called as the person info import template and not the personal info the person info and the personal info are two different templates. In this case, my user ID is 118682. I will keep my person ID same as my user ID. The country of birth I'll provide as Australia and the date of birth as 22nd February 1980. I will click on save and try to import this file by going to the import data section selecting an entity as biographical information choose the file as person info import template and click on open if we want we can also provide the import description since it is not a mandatory field I'm just leaving as is file encoding can be left as Unicode UTF-8, File Locale English, United Kingdom, which is the default for my system. And then I can validate the import file data just to see whether there are any errors or not. So I can see that there are uh, zero failed records and there are no records with warnings and there are no errors found in the import file and there was only one record in my file and the total records is one which is successful all green. I can now import the file once the import is finished i can check the biographical information of my employee to check whether the biographical details are imported successfully or not if you see here the person id date of birth and the country of birth these are the three fields that we had in our person info import file along with the user id of course which is the employee id so this means that our biographical information import is done successfully. So this is a second import that we did after the basic import. Our first import was the basic import and the second is the biographical information. The third step in the import process when we are hiring an employee using the import process is the employment details import. 
so we will follow the same process to import the employment details we will go to download template select an entity employment details and here again we have options of which fields do we want to import as a part of our employment details import see here if you see the delete button i can delete the person id so this means that i will have only the two fields hire date and the user id in my employment details file but let's give a few more fields maybe the original start date and the anniversary fields that you see here these are all country specific fields which are custom fields in this case so i can give two fields the original start date person id or maybe the notes which will again be a kind of a description or a string field i will generate the template the template is generated show in folder the template is called as employment info import template i will click on this particular template fill these fields with the hire date of the employee which in my case is 1st of january 2018 user id my personal id is same as user id original start date can be similar to the hire date usually original start date can be before the hire date as well where the employee originally started or maybe after the hire date in case the employee wanted to actually postpone its hire date and in the notes i can provide employment details import save this file click on import data select an entity in employment details choose the file employment info import template and open it import description not needed and all other fields will remain the same again i will first validate my import file i will see that then everything is green there are no errors i can then import it then go to my employee refresh it and check what happens in the employment information section so if you see here in the employment details i have my hire date the original start date and the notes these are the fields that i had just imported so this is the third step of the import process the first step was the basic import second was the biographical information and third is the employment details the fourth step which is very important when we are importing an employee using the import process is the job history import the process is the same we will download the template create the file validate it and import it so i will go to download template select an entity job history here again if we see we have the business unit company department wherever you see delete these can be removed from the job history import file but we will leave these as is we can remove the time zone maybe not need it for now so there are so many fields in the job history and whatever you can see which are marked as tick here are present in the selected data fields so this is the standard job history import that the system is suggesting for my scenario and i will leave this as is and generate the template once the template is generated it is called as job info import template i will now fill this template and in order to fill this template i might again need the help of my position file that i had exported in order to see the details that are maintained in my position object so this is the file that i have to fill i have now filled the job information import template and these details i have taken from the position file that we had exported at the start of the session now i will import the file the job information and it will be an incremental load i'll choose the file just called as a job info import template import description not mandatory rest everything as is and i will validate the import file i have errors here 
which says that the payroll accountant is an invalid external code for JH position title. If I see the position title in the file that I had imported is this. So which is the job code. And if I go to my position file that I had exported initially, the job code has to be this code. So if I go back to my file and change the job code with the correct value and now I will browse the file again and validate I see one error has been removed the other is says that the time zone is a required field and cannot be blank I will go back to my file and under the time zone I'll give any time zone that i'm aware of and then supervisor no manager as of now i do not want to have any manager for my employee so i will just leave with the code as no manager so whenever we are importing or hiring an employee using the import process whenever we see the supervisor or the hr manager and if you do not want to provide any manager or the hr manager in the basic import file as well we should be providing no manager this is the code that we should provide here now i'll go back to my import process and validate the import file okay event reason is an invalid external code for country or region usa the error that we saw was coming because the legal entity that i had initially created who was in usa i have now changed it back to the Australian legal entity and then if I have imported the file again and click on the validate import file data there are no errors now I will now import this particular file and once this is imported I can go back to the employee that I was creating and check the job information section of this particular employee and if you see here you can see the employee is hired on 1st of January 2018 in the same test position that we had created initially and all these data that you see is all coming from the position and also from the file the basic input file that we have created so this means that our job information is successfully imported so we have till now done four imports the first import was the basic import then we did the biographical import employment details and the job history the last import that we should be doing for our basic hiring for the test employees is the person info and i will now download the template for the personal information here again the same thing we have these details which are the selected data fields if we want we can have more data as well maybe the marital status nationality preferred name you can have any fields from the available data fields and once they are available in the selected data fields you can generate your template the template will consist of all the fields which are available in the selected data fields open the template it is called as the personal info import template our biographical information template was called as person info import template i will now open my personal info import template and try to create the file start date of the event is 1st of january 2018 which is the higher rate for my employee first name for my employee is alice personal id is 118682 surname was employee marital status single nationality indian preferred name Alice now once this file is created same steps would be followed in the import data I'll go to personal information incremental load select the personal info import template no description for now validate the import file I see an error you have entered an invalid country or region in the following field in nationality we need to give 
the code for the country for india the code is ind and once we provide the code it will accept and then there will be no errors once you validate the import file data once the validation is successful we can import it go back to your employee refresh the page and check the personal information so these are the fields first name surname nationality preferred name and the marital status that we had provided in our file we can provide other fields as well depending upon the template that we would want to generate so this is the fifth import that we did one more import that is optional is the compensation information if you have compensation information implemented you can import that else for the basic testing of your scenarios in the system these five imports are more than sufficient there are other imports as well which you can see here in the entity select an entity section we can also import the personal relationships global information termination details phone information email information all these can be imported but these five imports needs to be done in the sequence that we have discussed here and the other imports can be done as and when you need it so just to summarize we have hired one employee in the test position that we had created and the sequence that we have used to import our import files is number one the basic import number two the biographical information number three employment details number four job history number five the personal information so thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful for you do remember to check my other videos you can check the link that you see on the screen as well please do comment in the comment section if you're looking for any specific topics in the employee central area see you soon in my next video thank you bye for now